Tonight, we're learning more about two homeless people who were shot and killed within 24 hours of each other. A Portland police say the man shot and killed under the Burnside Bridge on Friday was 33-year-old Fars Gebrahat. And now we know of the woman who was shot and killed last Thursday. Police identifying her as 33-year-old Jennifer Drain. Elise Haas talked with the Blanche House, a service provider that Drain frequented, as they now weigh on in on how they're trying to get more people like her help before it's too late. It sickens us and in a lot of ways, I mean, it, it angers us. The executive director of the Blanche House says violence is all too common for the people they serve meals to who are living on Portland streets. In the last two months that we know of, two people who would come to us frequently for meals at Blanche House have been killed. The first was James Tony Wise, who police say was beaten to death in February in Old Town. The second and most recent homicide was Jennifer Drain, who police now identified as the victim in Thursday's deadly shooting on the edge of Old Town, just blocks from the Blanche House where she would go for help. Jennifer would often come, you know, pretty desperate for emergency clothing and other kinds of, of supplies. And it was clear that this was an individual who was searching for more services and, and unfortunately more services than perhaps we're equipped to do at Blanche House. Jennifer is one of at least four homicides among the homeless. Coin six is recorded in 2022, making up for nearly 15% of the homicides so far this year. A deadly trend the Blanche House and its partners hope to prevent. The Blanche House is now spearheading a project to create teams of peer support specialists across various day shelters. Peers will serve as mental health help. Plus, they're also hiring a housing navigator to help people fill out applications for supportive housing. We want a navigator who can take the baton, um, who has the skill and the experience to, to really make it happen for folks like Jennifer.